infant age is up to so what this question is trying to ask us is that up until what age would a child be known as an infant okay so this classification on the basis of age was given by stone and church now this is important because they could also frame a question where they could ask you according to stone and church's classification okay so this is important to know that this age criteria in order to classify a child is given by stone and church so according to them the age between birth to 1 year old the child will be known as an infant between 1 to 3 years the child is a toddler between 3 to 6 years the child is a preschooler and from 6 years to 12 years the child is a school aged child okay now after 12 years is when the puberty begins so now the child will be an adolescent now here it is given 12 to 19 years old but even 18 years old is sometimes used in the classifications okay so you uh, in the western countries especially after a child turns 18 he is considered an adult so from 18 years plus uh, an individual will be known as an adult okay so this is an important classification now although in stone and church's classification infants are classified from birth onwards there are certain other classifications in which the time period that is uh, from birth to one month that is the first month after birth the child is known as a neonate okay or a newborn so this is also important because they could ask you this as well right so here we have been asked is up to meaning the upper limit to be called an infant is so the upper limit will be one year okay so that is 12 months so an in, a child or an individual will be called an infant till they are 12 months of age after their 12 months of age that after their first birthday they will become a toddler okay now uh, some important questions that they could ask you regarding uh, or related to the age of a child especially in pediatric dentistry would be some of the reflexes that are seen during this phase right that is during infancy and during the stage when the child is a toddler there are some reflexes which develop and some reflexes which become extinct okay so it is important not only to know what the different types of reflexes are like the moro reflex the babinski reflex so it's important not just to know these reflexes because these again can be asked in the examination as separate questions but also when they appear and when they disappear for example the rooting reflex that is present from birth okay it uh, starts uh, uh, disappearing between 6 to 12 months of age so this timeline again is very important 